war is a lot like life because we we have wars in our daily lives even if you don't really experience the combat uh, area of it though but mentally it's the exact same it's you know you have your good days you have your really good days right and those are the majority of the days majority of the days in war are very very good you know or just good in general because no one dies right and then you have a few very bad days and it just seems just like in life when you come back you only remember the bad but it's kind of like that with people in recovery too you know they uh, you, they only remember the bad things they do they never really actually remember like all the positive stuff that they've done in their lives and so it's kind of uh, I relate a lot to uh, veterans with prisoners, you know, because we're so self, self sabotaging and self sacrificing. We'll beat up on ourselves constantly for the small little errors that we make once in a blue moon. But then we don't give ourselves credit for all the positive and all the good days that we have in life. And it's kind of like that in life nowadays, unfortunately. But that's why the majority of like, veterans that are struggling today and also just people in general that are struggling it's why we have such a low self-esteem and low self-worth is because our mindset is to only focus on the bad you know and social media is kind of like that too you know you can get a thousand comments of positive stuff about a photo or a post that you do right but that one or two negative stuff right it's going to eat you alive and that's life you know like we only focus on the bad. And I understand it's a human innate response. It, it's a survival skill, right? Like you mess up, you don't want to burn yourself on the fire again. So you don't touch the fire. You don't get close to the fire. It's an overreaction for survival. But now we're doing it in the 21st century, you know, where someone's comments and someone's thought about you and your actions during one time, one part of your life, you know, will crucify you over it and I think that that's the big problem that we're facing here with people in recovery is that we just have so low self-esteem and low self-worth because in our minds we've been trained to only focus on the negative in the 21st century instead of all the positive like just breathing and being alive and being active in your community and part of your family like, that's positive stuff even listening to the person next to you is a positive act, but no one gets credit for it.